All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to tear these, this wood that's inserted in these walls and in the, in the doors. I'm gonna show you how to tear that out, okay? We've got a lot of tools to choose from. Do we use a pry bar, circular saw, oscillating saw, grinder, hammer? What do we use? Well, I'll show you my method um, and I'll show you an example on this wall here and we'll go from there. So let's clean up this wall. All right, so on these walls, I wanna show you, there's of course this, it's bolted through. And this chain ideally holds your horse in, right? Keeps them from backing up. We're gonna to have to get rid of that in order to get all that wood out. So we're just gonna to have to get rid of it anyway. And then there's also these carriage bolts. Um, let's find that the next one is in there. There's another one. Anyway, there's four or five carriage bolts along there. Of course, there's some patchwork on this one too, on this wall that they did. But uh, there's some carriage bolts there that we're gonna have to cut those. And we'll actually cut those. We'll actually cut those out here. All right, now these are painted and rusted and they'll probably just break off. See, that one's kind of loose anyway, so it's hard to get it going. So we will cut those off, all right? And uh, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so to cut these bolts, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this little tie here, uh, this little loop. That's to, for tying your horse up outside of the trailer. We're not gonna need that. Um, I'm gonna cut off these bolts. There's also a couple in the wheel well, as well as this. And then this one that was for that chain, I'm gonna have to cut it on the inside because of the head of those carriage bolts is outside. So let's get to cutting. I'm gonna use my angle grinder, four and a half inch angle grinder. I'll put the links below to everything that I use today. So uh, they'll be in the description. So let's get to cutting. strap piece out the strap iron then you wouldn't have to worry about cutting this off because you're gonna you could cut that off anyway you don't necessarily have to cut that off though a lot of times I like to reuse if I can oh, well, I'm gonna plan on reusing that now let's get some uh, that are in the wheel well here there's actually there's actually two of them that are in here that I'm gonna cut off you guys can see one but you won't be able to see the other back inside. So now I'm going to cut these two as well. Get them out of the way. And now a lot of this wood will be able to just pull out by hand because it won't be tied into anything. Especially if it's rotten. But for an example, I'm going to show you how you can cut some of this wood out if you need to, okay? Let's say you've got a trailer that's, that's got really good wood in the sides, but you don't want the, that wood in there. It's not so rotten as this, but you want to, it's, it's tough enough you can't just pull it out or pry it out. I'll show you how to do that with a circular saw. Alright, so if you haven't seen it, 
Go back and watch when I tear out the floor. Watch that video. And I'll show you how to set the blade on this. But you're going to want to set this. I've got this scrap piece of one by. You're going to want to set it to where that blade just barely takes out that one by foot or whatever, the one by lumber. All right. So you're going to set that blade and then make your vertical cuts. So as you're not eating into this metal on the backside, and that's if you want to save it. If not, then you don't worry about it. All right. So I set my blade depth using my scrap one by. So now I've got it set. Should be right about three quarters of an inch, a little bit less. So now all you do is you just rip a couple sections there because these things will be wedged in underneath this angle iron and sometimes that can be difficult to get out. Well, if you just take a, a chunk out of the middle, then you remove that chunk and then you can pull it out of the edges relatively easy. I'll show you how to do that. the board but you just take your let me get my pry bar and I'll show you a lot of times you can do this by hand but if you have a tight spot you can use a pry bar see it'll break along those lines see that that way that breaks along those lines so that it allows it to bow out and all you did was weaken that board it's at a few couple points and it comes right out so let's get the rest of this wall tore out This patchwork job might make life a little difficult. And again, it might not. Just like that, this wall is now completely removed. You might have to cut a couple of these bolts. As you can see, remember I told you this tin is just sitting in here. Well, we're going to want to tack it in, maybe do some a little bit of touch-up work before we put more metal in there. So, just uh, let you know about that. And that's all there is to it, guys. You just do the same thing on the other wall, too. Now, let's look at these doors. Now, on these doors, you see this wood is not as rotten. Not as rotten, okay? It's just older, but it's still in decent shape. But we're going to go ahead. Um, there's one spot here for this latch. We're going to have to remove that. Okay, we're going to have to cut those bolts. You might, do, you might try removing them. More than likely, you're going to have to cut them and replace with new later. So, anyway, we're going to do just like I showed you on the inside with our circular saw. We've already got it set to a little less than three quarters of an inch deep. And we're just going to, from the bottom to the top, or the top to the bottom, whatever makes you more comfortable, you just rip those suckers. And then that'll let us get our pry bar in there and pull this stuff out. So let's do that. What, we, what we're gonna do, I don't know if I've explained this, it's called a plunge cut. Essentially, you're not starting at the edge of a board. You're just starting wherever you feel like it. 
and you bring this guard back, all right? And then when you plunge it in there, and then you can let the guard go. See, we got sawdust everywhere. And now, all right, now that we cut those, we've got sawdust all over us, but it's gonna be all right. Another thing you can do if it gets, if it gets too dusty, you know, you can put your dust mask on, that'd help. So, you got two options, you can either try there, or you can pry in the cuts you made, but just find you a good spot. Remember how I told you you're gonna you're just weakening the board. That's all you're doing. You're weakening the board. where we're gonna have to cut we're gonna have to cut here all right so we ran into this these bolts are through there we're gonna have to cut those bolts and then we'll be able to get that piece of wood out but we can get the rest of it out there. cut on it same with the bottom work it up a little bit where you can get a good cut on it because these are installed um, you know and, and this frames kind of built around them so it's gonna be tough to do Let's go around, let's cut off this bolt, these bolts, and we'll get this piece of wood out. All right, I'm just gonna cut these bolts on the outside, trim them off. I'll probably replace this latch here with one that's got a hasp on it that you could put a, a, a padlock on for later to help secure your trailer. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. Go back around just like that. Congratulations.